Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the market recovery, what's going to be going on after this huge team of the year market crash. So first of all, before we get into the video, make sure you do subscribe. We are aiming for 14,000 subscribers and I'm also going to be making videos when market crashes are going to be happening, exactly when to sell and when to buy, so you definitely don't miss them. So going straight into the video now, of course, I am making this video on Sunday evening, so there is going to be less than 24 hours to go until of course the team of the years are going to be out of packs they are going to be stop being in packs at monday 6 p.m uk gmt so of course after this i'm going to be talking about now every single card on the market what i think is going to be going on but looking right ahead onto the future if we actually look at what's going to be happening next what's going to be kind of the next dip in the market i don't really think there's going to be anything like this market crash coming close during the ref for the rest of fifa 19 maybe during the team of the season but i don't I don't really think anything else can cause such a big market crash as this. This has honestly been maybe one of the biggest market crashes in FIFA history and whole of FIFA Ultimate Team. Maybe also Icons I 100%. That's most likely this is definitely the biggest Icon crash apart from World Cup on 2018. The World Cup mode just messed up the whole market but I'm not really going to be including that because of course everyone just moved on to the World Cup and that just happens every four years. Other stuff like that. So I'm not really going to be counting that but compared to everything else this has most likely been the biggest market crash in FIFA history so definitely nothing's going to come close for the rest of FIFA 19 in my opinion and maybe for future FIFAs as well we are going to see looks like EA Sports are definitely stepping up their game with content etc they're definitely getting a lot better at it from what I've seen in the past years but looking ahead now like I was saying we are going to have of course winter one to watch I think that is going to cause a bit of a dip in the market but there's not really going to be significant players going down really maybe I will make some videos on when to buy when to sell etc but it's mainly going to be a crash with some players maybe the old one to watch is the summer one to watch is those usually go down during this because we are most likely going to get those back impacts maybe I'm not too sure how a sports are going to do it this year because they like to actually change up the promos a bit but they are definitely most likely going to be releasing summer one to watch guaranteed ones and also the new winter watch ones that's what they did do in FIFA 18 etc they've done this in past years and it's always been done like this and it is actually very exciting the market might go up of course 83s everything like that is going to go up but in general gold meta players they might go down five to ten thousand coins but that's going to be it it's not really going to be anything like black friday or of course this huge team of the year market crash so looking at now talking about now how players are going to react after this team of the year market crash kind of like short term what's going to be happening in the next one to two weeks i definitely think all of the live cards are going to start going up also lots of flashback investments have started to go up i think those are going to go back down because EA Sports have released lots of flashback cards now I really think the next one's going to be most likely in a month or something I think the next SBC that EA Sports are going to release apart from marquee matchups everything like that is most likely going to be the league SBC hopefully fingers crossed for La Liga and then after that sometime maybe a month later is going to be the Premier League but the team of the year cards they should rise out of packs of course that's what everyone is saying the icons are definitely they've already started to rise quite a lot they are recovering very quickly and the gold meta players as well like Aguero, Dybala, all of those players like that who didn't really have a team of the year card so not including Mbappe or Van Dijk. Van Dijk and all of those gold rare cards as well just to uh, pick up on that quickly those are all going to go back down to what they were actually originally for example Van Dijk, Ramos they've all gone up to ridiculous prices they're going to be coming down back to their normal ones when they go back into packs and I'm talking about their gold rare versions and of course the market basically is going to be recovering the next thing that we do have so the next kind of dip in the market, not really a market crash, is going to be winter one to watch. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.